Welcome to another episode of How To on the How To channel. In this episode, I'm going to be teaching you how to put a video within a video. I've had a lot of people ask me how to do this lately, so I thought I'd make a video and show you how to do it. I'm going to be using all free software. I'm going to be using Microsoft Expression Encoder, and I'm going to be using Windows Live Movie Maker. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a thumbnail to put your pictures in. Now, here's my thumbnail. Now I'm going to have a video here, and I'm going to have a video here. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open this up with Windows Live Movie Maker or Movie Maker. Now the reason why we have to do that is because when you use the encoder, it has to be a video. You can't just put a thumbnail in there and add videos to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this however long we want to make it. I'm going to put 10 seconds here. So we're going to go to edit, 10 seconds, and now we're going to make it into a video. So we're going to save it as if it's a video, save it in high definition, put thumbnail, okay now we just made that into a video next thing we're going to want to do is close this out here. Now we don't need to save it. We're going to click on transcoding project. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we want to import down here. Import our video that we just made called thumbnail here. Okay. Next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to change all this stuff over here. We want to click on encoding quality and put best quality. Apply. Next thing we're going to want to do is click on output. And under directory, you want to make sure this says desktop. If it doesn't, click right here on the three little dots. Make sure it says desktop. Click OK. Now we're going to click on encode. And we're going to move down to video. This needs to be CBR one pass. This right here needs to be four. This needs to be source. This needs to be 20. This right here needs to be 30,000. Now, this right here needs to be source. Now we're going to edit the audio. Because we want to have good audio, of course. The next thing we're going to want to do is click right here. We're going to make it 256. Stereo, 48, and 24. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to put two videos in here. So what I'm going to do is first click on timeline, add visual overlay, find the videos we want. There it is right there. Okay, now if you move your wheel button, you can make this smaller, which I'm going to do here. Make it smaller. We're gonna put it right where we want it here. Now I want it to be right there. Make it a little bit smaller. Okay. Now that we've done that, the next thing you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to click encode. Okay. Now that we've done that, see now this program only allows you to do one at a time, so I can't put two videos at the same time. Click File, and New Project, and then click that. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to import our new video that we just made right here. Okay, now we're going to import that. Okay, now if we play this, we have a video within a video. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add another video. First thing we do, we got to change all the settings again. Okay. Now we can use the wheel button to make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to come back up here, click timeline, add visual overlay, find our video here that we're going to use. So here's our video we're going to be putting in here. We're going to make it smaller. We are going to actually 
bring it over here like this. We want it to be the same size. Now we're going to mess with this here and make it smaller. We're going to move it over here. And you get it where you want it. Now we've already changed all our settings here. So all we have to do is click encode. Okay. Now we've got both of our videos in here. What we're going to do here is close out of this. And now that video is ready to be used in Windows Live Movie Maker. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to edit my video real quick. And I'll be right back. Okay, now that we've uploaded our video, first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go back into the video manager. We're going to want to click edit on our video. Now we're going to want to go to annotations. Now this is the fun part. First thing we want to do is we're going to find where we want our annotation at. There's our little videos. Okay. Right there. Click add annotation and we're going to click spotlight. Now we're going to move this over to the video. Now that we've highlighted the video, next thing we're going to want to do is we need to find the link. So we're going to go back to YouTube here. Okay. So we need to right click this, click copy link location. Go back to our video and we're going to click link and we're going to click video, paste. We click save. Now we want to make sure this is the full length, so we're going to make it bigger. We're going to make this all the way out to there. Now you can write something in here like what they're going to be clicking on, which is how to make a subscribe button. Right, and then when they mouse over it, that's what it'll say. Let's see how to make a subscribe button. And you can move this anywhere you want. You can put it up here. And that's where I'm going to put it. Now we're going to save this. So save, apply. Now we click add annotation, spotlight. We're going to move it back over here. Okay, we're going to highlight this video here. This one is how to make a YouTube channel art or banner. Now we're going to move this to where we want it. We'll put it up here. You can make it bigger if you'd like. You can change the font. You can change the color of it if you want. Change the color by going over to here. But I'm not going to do that. Now we got to put the link in for this one. So we're going to go back to YouTube. That video happens to be right here. So we're going to right click it. We're going to click copy link location. Now we're going to click link. And it's already on video. We're going to right click it. Paste it in there. Now we're going to make sure it's where it's supposed to be. We're going to save it changes and now I'm also going to do one more spotlight here and we're going to put it right here now this is where I'm going to have them look at my channel so let's move this out of the way I'm going to highlight the channel okay we're going to put link we're going to go to our channel here. We're going to copy the, the ad web address up here. We're going to click copy. Go back over to here. And we're going to click right here. And right here, we're just going to click channel. And we're going to put our link in here. Now you can type in visit my channel. Okay. And we can move this anywhere we want it. Put it right here. And then now we're going to add a subscribe button. So we're going to save that. Now we're going to add one more. Add annotation. Another spotlight here. 
and right here is actually going to be subscribe. So we don't have to write anything in this one either. And we're going to click link, subscribe, and we already use our channel right here so we're going to put our channel in here again. And this automatically puts a subscribe there. And we're going to put this where it opens up a new window. I'm going to make sure it's big. Save it. The same thing here. All the way big. Save it. Apply changes. And let's see what it looks like. Let's play here. And there we go. We can click on that. We can click on that. We can click on that. And we can click on there. And it's awesome. Now it's set up the way you want it. And I want to thank you all for watching this video. I hope it's helped you out in some way. I left the link for Expression Encoder down at the bottom. And I hope you guys like and subscribe. Thank you.